out of many things which I have learned in ISI, I really cannot choose the perfect three things or the most important three things which I have learned at ISI. But still, I will make it a try. So, the first and the most important thing which I learned at ISI is your basic statistics. Now, obviously, this goes like a cliche. Being Indian Statistical Institute, you have to learn basic statistics. But if I recall my approach to statistics, my thought to statistics before coming to ISI, it was like an arbitrary concept. I used to just think of it like formally and I used to just apply various ideas using fixed cut methods. Like if I had to do some kind of an hypothesis testing, I thought that yeah, I'll use this formula, I'll use this distribution, I'll get this p-value, I'll reject this null or accept it, whatever the case may be. I mean, I was not really having an intuitive view of basic statistics to say the least. And this is a very important skill. If you want to become a data scientist or you want to do any kind of statistical work in your life, you have to know basics of statistics. You need to understand your basics of linear regression, basics of curve fitting, basics of p-value, hypothesis testing, basics of what exactly you mean by statistical models. So these are the things which I learned as part of various courses I took in ISI, like your basic statistics, econometrics, then your time series, then your econometrics applications, and so on. So that's the idea over here with my first thing which I would like to tell you. Now, I would make a video on basic statistics or rather a series on basic statistics in some time, very soon I guess. Now, what is the second thing which I learned at ISI? That would be mathematical precision. I recollect the interview experience which I had for MSQE program. I have already made a video on that. ISI MSQ interview experience. Now, in that interview, I was asked various things about economics. And needless to say, when we talk about economics, there are a lot of mathematical ideas which are intertwined with economics. Now, if your definition, explanation of those economic concepts do not fit into that mathematical preciseness, you would not be respected or taken seriously at ISI. And I was really caught there. I really did not have good mathematically precise definitions of economic concepts. I just used to say things quite vaguely in nature. Now that changed. And now I need to think twice or thrice before saying anything which has a mathematical nature at its core. So that is something which I learned at ISI. And if you are not really uh, sure about something, do not speak about it. That is the idea about mathematical preciseness. Now, whenever you are even answering your uh, questions in an exam, the same principle applies. So a lot of people ask me, that how do I prepare for PEB part of MSQ entrance? Now, this is the message you need to take it down. That be mathematically precise. I understand that the questions are subjective in nature, but that doesn't mean that you will write essays. You do not have to. You just have to show each and every step. Don't jump steps. Don't jump logical steps. Don't try to fill in with your fillers. Give which theorem are you using, which formula are you using and why you're using it. Use it, it in the correct way. That's all needed, that's all needed. And I perhaps am not the best person with this because I think of things intuitively and uh, I do not really have that kind of mathematical preciseness in all of my conversations or all of my interactions. But still, I am changing and I am imbibing that into me. And I really like that idea of being mathematically precise and brief in your presentation. The third and the last thing which I want to discuss in this video is art of becoming a student again. Now, why is this important? This is important because you see, I was uh, not really a student from 2011 to 2018. So that was like roughly seven years of gap between my BTEC and MSQE degree. So definitely I had forgotten how a student 
thinks how a student presents himself and how a student should study now also the matter gets complicated because from 2007 to 2011 i did study in iit i did my btec there but the thing over iit is you do not really study a lot a lot of people just read before exams and i certainly was one of them so uh, if i have to tell you from 2007 to 2018 roughly 11 years those 11 years were spent like a non-student and yes i did prepare for a few exams but that really does not mean that you have uh, started to think like a student so that is something which is important in life and now i think uh, I would always uh, have that perspective and when you are thinking like a student, when you are become a student, then you no longer think of things like uh, goal oriented in nature. You go with the flow, you read things, you devote time to books, you devote time to concepts and that is something which I needed to learn because I remember when I was in class 10, 11 or 12, I used to just think about a concept and spend hours in it. And that is something which you need to have in life if you want to become a knowledge worker. And yes, we are in a knowledge economy. So you need to learn and learn, learn and learn on repeated cycles. If you have to survive in this kind of an environment. So becoming a student is an important skill which I learned at ISI. Now, these were the three skills which I wanted to say in this video. But yes, I can make a lot of videos on what I have learned in ISI. So be prepared with that. And yes, if you have uh, liked my other content on data science, economics, finance, entrance examinations and whatnot, maybe even Bitcoin, blockchain. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon as well. And yes, don't forget to watch my other videos.